put the ass on VLTP comes under and say what happened to him. Ain't her from when last you seen got hit me. No more loot to cover up. Swear to God. Nike girl. Swear to God. Uh. Was that bad? Bo P started getting agitated, grabbed his strap, and ran towards the street. So I figured bad things were about to happen. But nope, just another day in St. Louis. <laughs> I don't know. This is crazy, though. I'm not even going to see her in live, bro. This is real life. This ain't no this is in the most dangerous city in America. Wait, 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 what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Hold on. It's Rezen says, Swear look at Discord DMS. No. Oh. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Tommy G. Boots on the ground in the most dangerous city in America. I'm beating up Tommy G. I'm taking bros money if I see him on the street. America, St. Louis, Missouri. Oh, St. Louis? Ah, oh, shit. Here with a fucking main But that was a W edit. Went to the shoot. That's tough. I am James says him and Aiden can play me 2v1 and I promise they ain't scoring. Uh, another, none, of, none of these new stream man, I'm, man, I'm about to get right, bro. Wait till I got these videos to drop, bro. But see, if I would have put that in my vid at the beginning, I easily would have got yellow marked. All types of shit. No cap. Each year, I make a trip to the most dangerous city in America. Shit, you guys fucking got your after school projects here, huh? Yeah, on a quest to speak with local residents and try and understand what it's like growing up in such a wild place. I once again find myself in St. Louis, Missouri. Chat, where's the dangerous place y'all? Dangerous city y'all y'all been to, for real, for real. This homicide rate in the world outside of Mexico. Today, prosecutors charge a man with murder for killing someone execution style in downtown St. Louis. This morning, St. Louis police execution are style. Identify and find five teens. They are wanted for questioning in last week. Damn, this niggas got the extendos outside with it. USA. Oh, Z really out there. Against mass shooting downtown. Another weekend of violence raises concerns about downtown St. Louis. From 3 o'clock Saturday until 3 o'clock Sunday morning. 639, call, 639 calls from services in, in the last 12 hours. 173 calls in District 4. Damn! There were 639 calls for service. Take a look at video of armed young people leaving a downtown loft yesterday morning. Another man openly carrying a gun in the downtown area. He just glanced up at the helicopter, back around to the vehicle, which was on the run and on the move once again. Oh, isn't that wonderful? My son and I fall asleep to the lullaby of gunshots in the distance every night. Wow. Now that's crazy. This shit is crazy, bro. Traveling to cities like Chicago, crazy. New York, LA, Philly, I can say without a doubt that I see the craziest amounts of guns I've ever seen so far with... in the trenches of St. Louis. I even saw kids that looked like they were 10 or 11. Totally... Bro, bro, right here, look like for real. He still played Fortnite like on the daily. Like he could, if he had the chance to. You know what I'm saying? Oh my, bro, you can't lie. These guys do definitely look 10 and 11. Like, automatic weapons. Today, we tap in with chill, chill, Obama, chill. making a name for themselves. First, we head to Mo P's hood. He's a rapper putting up impressive numbers on YouTube. He sounds like this. Wiping the cocaine off my mirrors. The remains of what got booked is coming in so quickly. This mix. Bro, got the uh, He's not playing. Got that arm in the middle of the street. This is crazy. How you know the digits? They trying to come with it. Piece of 16 and they in the trenches. And then we had the entrepreneur Heavy G's block. He's known in the city for selling exotic snacks and the world's most expensive lemonade. How much do these cost? Twenty five dollars. This cost twenty five dollars. Yes. Join me as I hit the streets and look for answers. Twenty five dollars. St. Louis, a more peaceful place. Was that gas station called On The Run? Was that gas station called On The Run? On The Run, that's crazy as hell. We're here in the outskirts of St. Louis. Before we get into the trenches in the most dangerous <laughs> city in America, let's talk to the folks that live here and see Bro, what they think about what happened? St. Louis has been ranked as the most dangerous city in America for the second year in a row. Does that surprise you? No. 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 It doesn't because I know the stat. I don't like it, nor do I agree with it. We lost our mob a long time ago, which controlled the gangs. Our gangs have taken over. Are you a mother? I am. 
And do you feel concerned raising your kids in St. Louis? Where I've raised my kids in the county. An area like this. What is it like raising kids in St. Louis? This kind of scary. If you were mayor, what would you do? Or if you had a message? To that was the mayor? <laughs> when they were doing that interview and they was just shooting in the back? You know about that's a great. Oh, no, this is wicked. This shit is wicked. To the mayor, what would you say? Start blocking people up left and right. I try to find more opportunity for these kids to just to train their mind, just to keep them on track with things. I am all about support for the for the youth, and I think that that's where we need to start having more activities for the youth. When I was growing up, it was a lot more things to do. Oh wait, what, what's going on? What's going on in the chat, man? Y'all got some beef in the chat, chill. This is a friendly community. You know what I'm saying? We love each other all over here. Feel me? We ain't, you know what I'm saying? Chill, chill. Y'all got to chill, bro. Y'all got to chill, bro. In the last two years, 5% of the population of St. Louis has left. Why do you think that is? More opportunity. Yes. We're, we're about to meet with a, a gangster rap crew that has a ton of guns on them. How do you... The bro popped out with a vest is crazy. Teach those That's guys. crazy. You got to give them a better upbringing. I mean, you got to give them something to look forward to. That's kids looking at them like they're, they're heroes, you know? Once we focus that's on true, the that's youth, true. then we will be able to make Yeah, y'all got to chill the chat, bro. Chill, chill. Future as a whole. Stay focused. Stay positive and try to keep, keep the idle mind going. I don't know what they go through. I don't know why they're doing what they're doing. And I am not a smart enough person to be able to help. Stay away from us. <laughs> <laughs> she just called herself stumped? I'm not a smart enough person to help? What? <laughs> things are getting a little crazy you gotta protect yourself out there so the sponsor of today's video is bulletproof zone they're helping us keep protected if you're somebody in a risky job let's say you're an amazon driver in the trenches a post office worker in the trenches or somewhere you just want to keep safe have something did bro really make a sponsor video bro really oh my this is and it's a real sponsor too for the vest ah that's crazy that's crazy. In the house, maybe you buy one for your office building in case the worst happens. You buy one for a school in case the worst happens. Look, what? It took me 10 seconds to put this on. I'm ready. I have an advantage. I'm prepared to live. I'm prepared to survive. This is their protect vest. It's lightweight. You can move around. You can hide it under a shirt. We never want the worst to happen, but when it does, you want to be ready. Protect vest comes in level three protection that is available. Bro. Get some. Cold day, hell of nigga playing. Get off with some shit. Damn. Yo. I mean, y'all know I'm from Louisiana. You feel me? Street porn and shit. They ain't did like it's bad out there too, though. But not. I don't even know what to say. Again. I've seen some shit out there, though. I ain't gonna lie. You I definitely look at have. Places like this, and is it really that surprising that things are crazy here? You have to think about the mentality of starting out in this spot. I'm not excusing this behavior. I'm not saying killing each other is okay. Look over here. Imagine growing up in absolute destruction. That's true though, that's true though. get to this? What happened? You just that is true though. can tell that we are tiptoeing on Trenchville. Tell the people Trenchville. what to expect from this area, what goes down. A lot goes down. A lot of these guys, man, they, they younger. So I found a little bit more eager to do the crimes. Kind of, I don't want to say it like that, but. They're more reckless. More young. reckless. That's a better way to work. Have you ever been in a video? So, they, so they're basically doing it because they're younger. They feel like they can't get the, the responsibilities of a grown man. Of a of a grown individual. Yeah, y'all need what's going on in the chat, bro? Pop off it. What? What's going on in the chat, bro? Oh god, these videos is all on the tube. Y'all gotta chill. Hey yo, Ty, bro. If you could just blur out like majority of the uh the chat up there. You're ending this, bro, cause they they tripping, bro. Tripping. Video shoot and a shootout happened. And I've been there where they just been shooting. Maybe they was trying to scare the artists off the block or something. They just start letting off shots. So I've been, I've literally had footage running with the camera, hearing the gun shots. They're crazy, man. That ain't things. This is the type of area that every single car that passes, uh, you gotta watch out for. My main man. Oh, okay. Good to meet you, man. What's the word? Tell. This is a real spitter. You want a bar spitter that goes bar for bar. Every single song he makes, this is the guy. Tell the people. Where we are right now. Right now, we really in the middle of the horseshoe, aka the dipshit for real. 5,500 for real, for real. We got some motherfuckers coming down, goddamn me. It feels this slightly is. sketchy. Like, it feels like things could pop off any moment in a place. That's like St. This. Louis for you. I ain't gonna fake a real deal. Everybody trying to be okay. a tap. What do you love about St. Louis? I love everything about St. Louis. I ain't gonna fake it. Like, I don't wanna leave. See, my boy, bro, man. The heat for St. Louis. What I. 
hung out with him and he would say, I ain't going to fake it. I was like, what? What you mean fake it? He's like, I ain't going to fake it. He said it every time. Now I see. That's in St. Louis. Okay. Okay. I see. I see. I see. My city. I love everything about my city from the food to the cars we drive to the phases we go through all type of shit. I'm going to come. Okay. Is that a toothbrush? Clean them off. Oh, the road's tough. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, this shoes is tough. So what's the mission? What's the plan right now? Like, what are you trying to do in this city? You just trying to get fucking money. Get for real. Bring my city up out of here for real. Bring my city up out of here for real. Bring my city up out of here for real. Bring my city up out of here for real. Bring my city up out of here for real. Bring my city up out of here for real. Bring my city up out of here for real. Bring my city up out of here for real. Bring my city up out of here for real. Bring my city up out of here for real. Bring my city up out of here for real. Bring my city up out of here for real. Bring my city up out of here for real. Bring my city up out of here for real. Bring my city up out of here for real. Bring my city up out of here for real. Bring my city up out of here for real. Bring my city up out of here for real. Bring my city up out of here for real. Bring my city up out of here for real. Bring my city up out of here for real. Bring my city up out of here for real. Bring my city up out of here for real. Bring my city up out of here for real. Bring my city up out of here for real. Bring my city up out of here for real. Bring my city up out of here for real. Bring my city up out of here for real. Bring my city up out of here for real. Bring my city up out of here for Who's the right to bear arms? How important is that in this city? Bro, I feel like at a very young age, bro, parents should be teaching their kids to how to use guns. Like, you should be able to, at any age, to teach your kid how to use a gun. Like, that's what they should be teaching in school. Mm -hmm. Not dumb ass shit that we not gonna see when we get up out of here, you know? What percent of people around here you think have a gun? Realistically, 90% everybody Damn. got a gun. I ain't gonna fake a real deal. Tell me about how Damn! You 90%. 90%. You gotta be strapped up, though. You grew up. What was your childhood Best. like? How'd you get to where you are now? Be dangerous to the city, man. On some St. Louis shit. I grew up my granny for real on some little cool shit. She ended up passing away to cancer and shit. After that shit, the nigga was by herself. That was at like 12 years old. Oh, years. see, so that's that's how it ends up. You feel me? Growing up by yourself, man. You ain't got nobody around you to teach you the ways. It be like that, bro. Hey, that's why I'm glad. Hey, I'm blessed, you know what I'm saying? I have both of my parents all the way through, bro. Because they really can get dangerous. You got to start... Changing the way you live because you by yourself, bro. Max. So you had no parents and no grandma from the time you were 12. Yeah, if we elected you mayor of St. Louis, what would you do to make the city better, stronger, safer? It really starting the heart of the community, for real. You make a little change in one community, motherfucker need to actually be hands-on with shit. Like, get their hands dirty with niggas who been getting their hands dirty, for real. To me, a lot of the reason a lot of young men are reckless right now is almost just like a, for thrill-seeking. Kids are bored, and they're shit, trying to do really? things for the thrill of it. Yeah, like... Well, you gotta think, think about it. If you 12, you ain't got no parents, nobody telling you, like, you gotta go to school and get up. Shit, you outside every day. You outside with the gang every day, and then they... They gon' you gonna learn from them because they look up to you feel me the people they hanging around that's and that's how the cycle keep going bro. What yo no 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 Sersky I was not no Sersky Louisiana. You really want that rush? You got to think like motherfucker sit at the crib all day on. My dad is my dad is from St. Louis and yeah born there yeah but me in Louisiana bro. Instagram that's real as. F motherfucker like I want to do what they doing that's hella real. But then also I've been here so long. Honestly, I'm just gonna start saying I'm from Colorado, though. For real, I don't even care. You know, I'm really gonna be that that guy in the city soon, very, very soon, bro. I'm gonna need some help breaking down some St. Louis slang. I just heard tapper. Help me use it in tap. a sentence properly. Be like, what's the word tap? What's no. the word tap? Oh me, Fred dear. <laughs> we about to tap some shit today. Okay. Oh man. Hey, nah, gang. You ain't gotta do all that. <laughs> you ain't gotta do all that, bro. Hey, what you Tommy tap? Which one? G tap. Tommy Tap, which one? G Tap. Oh, my mama. Nigga, we got G Tap in this motherfucker, nigga. Oh, God. Real, real deal. My soul. What's, what's the, the word? word? I hear people say, God damn me. God damn God me. Damn, on God. God damn me. On God. Swear to God. Swear to God. Was that bad? Bo Peace started getting agitated, grabbed his strap, and ran towards the street. So I figured bad things were about to happen. But nope, just another day in St. Louis. <laughs> Good, Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Give him the little bars. Oh, God. Man, bro look like bro really look nine in the face What's up? are you guys in middle school or high school i'm in high school it's cool i'll take that i'll people, take the phrase citizens of st louis before we came here it's cool them said they're getting scared to live be the man in the city though the violence is becoming too much what do you think about those, what those people are saying the good thing is yeah. in the springs not that yeah. many people doing it like crazy crazy that's why i like the springs so much so i could really you know come up for real for real because don't nothing happen to nobody that just stand out the way. So basically, you got to have your hands dirty to have things happen. Nah, because you could be a bystander and get hit. If, if I wanted like to buy a gun, gun, how easy would it be to find one and how much do I got to pay? It's Ooh, easy. You can buy right this motherfucker now. right now. Full stack. 
<laughs> Bro, pull that joint out. Bro, pull that joint out. Their first gun around here. Bro, I was hella young playing with guns on God, bro. This generation, bro, like, me and my partners graduated. I ain't gonna fake it. Like, all the other shit, that shit killed. Was graduating important to you? Damn right. I ain't gonna fake it. When my grandma passed away, like I told you, like, that was a big thing. Yo, you see bro graduated? I had to graduate. Though. We finna go to the little place where I shot Right there. Come on, tell. Got, got diamonds sitting on the west, so ass. My bitch stay sent for Ali Bay, stay safe, and she praying for me. Big boy, 45 ACP, oh. went deep in this 3.0 T. New boy, I fit, get up the streets, we can't tap, get close. He watching all the perimeters. It's on gangland. First game. And he got him watching the perimeter. They got that. The block ah, they know they know they, they got their own security. The gang is they security. Late 80s, beginning of the 90s. From an outside perspective, it makes me sad to see. You oh. Me? No, I, oh God. Uh, Certified Trapper did that to me during our interview where he faked wait, wait, wait. go like this just to try and get my reaction. Um, Alright. You see some shit or what? <laughs> bro scared as, bro scared as hell, boy. You look like you're about to go Navy SEAL mode on us. When I see all the, the numbers of deaths, it makes me really sad to see because there's what I see is a lot of young men that have potential that never got to live that potential out. Mo, you got any bars for us? All right, now, all right, now, all right. Look at my glizz, look at bro glizz, and they both came from smacking. We hit the south in different wheels because we just swapped the trampoline. Put dude ass on VOTP, comes under and say what happened to him. Ain't her from when last we seen got hitting this shit no more. Look and cover up. Got hit. They urs. Max speeds on the flyway, make them think it's task. They watch they murders. Max suppress, don't hurry. Bro got button C crowd trying to clear him. One deep Drake with 60, think I'm frivolous. That tough guy act the sickness, luckily Drizzy a cram. Chasing shit, booking fat ass guns with built up my endurance. Burn them car, no, we got some stupid. They say fast and free. GT stinker, no key USB won't see it for you. Hurry. Taz me on show different times. Oh, me during. I don't know nothing. I can't even spell my name if y'all was curious. Little bro snatched scat pack off the lot, wrapped on the way back, stirring. Oh, god, hey, well, I ain't gonna lie to you. Did you spit some shit though? No cap, but you gotta dip that's their lingo and shit like that. That's why Obama, that's why you couldn't really understand. All right, Obama, bro. Look, look, look. Hey, that's your opinion. You feel me? I ain't, you know what I'm saying? That's what you want to say. That's all you. I can't change what you what you think, you know what I'm saying, bro. All right, my mama. She Okay, so one thing you said in that song, who is Tass? That's what we call unmarked Everybody police cars. Like the black trucks? Yeah. They be in every Dang. unmarked cars, like the same type of car you rode in, just it's 10. I got some questions to ask you. Yes, yes, yes. First impression. The fucking real deal. Tell. Real deal. My soul. A lot of people say drill music is to blame for all the violence in the cities. What do you think about that? Bro, drill music is just for a motherfucker feeling when they going through the jungle, bro. Real deal, bro. You can't blame a motherfucker. Do you feel like you have a, a positive impact on the world? Yeah. A tapper is a motherfucker who don't get no and They really trying to be they self, for real. People can listen to music and it's up to you. Hey, y'all go in the chat, bro. Beef in the chat. Y'all need to chill, bro. I can listen to your song when I'm on a road trip. I can listen to your song and beat the shit out of somebody. We all have the choice of what oh, we man. do once we listen to the song. Oh, me. Did you ever get scared of any of you guys shooting your dick off when you pass, when you put the gun, like, right here? There's some, uh, chitter. Cheddar Bob, he said Cheddar Bob. I ain't gonna lie. If you, anyone ever strapped up and they shoot their own meat, you, you a dweeb. You are a dweeb. The Bob ass shit. <laughs> okay, all right. That fucking tap, main tap. We out of here, my mom. Like, I can't even imagine. What that, this is like. crazy, bro. I'm not gonna lie, chat so far. In that type of situation, you reap what you sow. Like you attract what you put out into this world. I know former drug dealers that are now millionaires in real estate. I know former bank robbers that are millionaires in business. You could be the street guy pushing up a lot of cash in the street. Your choice. There are consequences that come with that. There's dangers that come with that. You could be the legit. But sometimes, man, you gotta get it how you live, man. Oh, this is W. This is way better. Sometimes you gotta get it how you live, bro. Sometimes you have to get it how you live and then use that, you feel me, and make you make things better, bro. You feel me? And, and switch it up. Never staying with the same thing. Keep it that, bro. Business guy, too. If you move those street skills into entrepreneurship, I think you're going to have a safer, more sustainable lifestyle. Next, folks. And that's why a lot of rappers, they be talking about when they used to sell bricks and all that. That's what they did at first, and they used that. To invest in themselves, they just did. They they took another way instead of like the working way, clocking in way. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. I'm I'm just gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna keep the I'm gonna keep the child for a little bit on here.
It's better like this because I'm not trying to. Yeah, this is going on a YouTube video. Y'all tweaking right now. Y'all tripping, bro. Heavy G, an entrepreneur in St. Louis who's quite a character. We'll see you there. We're here with the St. Louis legend, Heavy G. A big thing we're highlighting is entrepreneurship. What do you got cooking up over here? My food truck right here. Selling uh, Rotel. That's, that's some little St. Louis, like some nachos type shit. And we selling my world famous drink, Whippy. This is how the Whippy look. I just, I've been doing this shit for one year as of last month. I think I had... Wait, 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 wait. So Let's see, bro. Is that a goat with his head? Like, that's crazy. Drink, but but what you think. Think. That's my newest flavor. I want you to try this. Bar, I know. That's good. Thank How'd you invent this? You know I'm a big influence in my city. I had brought some sodas back from Texas, like you did. You want to get some drinking shit, and I started selling the sodas for twenty dollars. And the soda selling sodas for twenty dollars. It, it, it ain't no sodas. Out. What's going on? end up getting so popular over the city everybody started buying those some fagos and the stock actually went up 10 percent within the 30 days of me promoting it so I'm okay bro smart though bro smart okay see he's smart damn i ain't made no money off this you know so own it own so, your own shit yeah and i knew i could do it because you know the fago sold us was two dollars so i'm like i gotta make all that money back that i missed so i'm making money. yeah yeah nah, exactly yeah nah, yeah nah, definitely yeah nah, i was it's something else at first, I'm not gonna lie. 25, the most expensive lemonade to ever drop on earth. Look, it's the Rotel right here. So what is this on the chip? Ground beef and cheese. <laughs> it's fire. This That's look good, I ain't gonna lie, bitch, be hungry, bro. Eat Rotel, take bitches to the hotel. Ah! <laughs> Got his own store, see, bro, I need a... Oh, wait, what the fuck? Hold on. Oh God, I got these right here. I'm not, I still got the, the red velvet. I saved the other ones. I'm gonna eat those too, just cause I seen those. This the best exotic store in the Midwest. St. Louis, Missouri, the Midwest. I'm standing on it. This the five dollar snack table right here. This for the scrambles. You ain't got your bag all the way right. They got the Skittles without the shell. Crazy. This what they selling in here. Wait, wait, Skittles without the little, the hard, the hard stuff? Get these in the you hit? Oh yeah, they, they, they bust though. Like the velvet, they bust, bro. That's what everybody been telling me, but they so expensive. It's like I feel like it'll be it'll cost an like, epidemic of people stealing these. How much do these cost? Twenty five dollars. This cost twenty five dollars. Yes, for regular lemonade. That is crazy. Because it's regular lemonade, but at the same time, ain't nothing regular about it. It's mine. You are not getting this taste I anywhere see. else. It's definitely I delicious. See. But if I were to tell my wife, honey, I just spent twenty five dollars on lemonade, I feel like I would be in trouble. You would until she see it. I'm gonna give you some for <laughs> too, just okay. so she can understand. Too. Okay. I'm shout out to Sweet Cheeks, okay? Yeah, shout out Sweet Cheeks. Yeah, like, <laughs> What's a lesson you've learned being an entrepreneur? Your debut day it ain't gonna be like that every day. There's ups and downs, right? Yeah, and a lot of times you might have more downs than ups. Especially on Melrose, uh, if I Gordy, like. You gotta go get this food, man. Okay. Right, we'll see you guys at the next stop. Yeah, I'm gonna get you a combination for you with St. Paul. Oh my god, oh, yeah. out of all these, which one you think you're gonna like? First Come chicken. Pile, you gotta go high. No, 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 no. All right, but the. Yeah, Now you are officially a St. Louis nigga. I know, wait, wait, you gotta get that thing. <laughs> Don't be fooled. Hey, bro, lock like this. Down there, this side of town. Does it surprise you that St. Louis is the most dangerous city in America? Not at all. Are we really good? <laughs> <laughs> The next day, Heavy G sent me a text saying someone was shot and killed at a nearby BP. Very sad, an immigrant that was working hard at a gas station just got their life taken by a kid. So the danger here is absolutely real. Back to the video. I remember being five years old knowing that St. Louis is the number one for the murder rate. And I remember Detroit used to be like one or two, like we always been competition. Back I just remember that. If you were mayor, just walk what around would you do block. to help the city be a little bit stronger, better, safer? The, the youth is who killing everybody. Yeah. The youth is who dying. The youth is who getting shot. And they are future. More fun, more concerts, more things for people to be interactive and not- but That's kind of best to think about. The youth is the one, that's crazy. So is it gonna get to a point in time where this is gonna be one like youth, like king type of little, you know what I'm saying? Type little prince type, you know what I'm saying? How's that little cycle gonna keep going, bro? I don't know. This is crazy though. I'm not even gonna sit here and lie, bro. This is real life. This ain't no, man, I'm walking outside. If I walk outside right now, I'm finna see people walking their dogs, people jogging, uh, all type of people land outside at the park in the middle of the, this is different, bro. Like to me, looking at this, it's actually like, I'm actually like shocked, but this is not a joke, bro. And I'm glad bro does this for vids, 
to, to show other people, like, look, wherever y'all at right now, no matter if you are in St. Louis, if you're in a better spot, it could be, you know, you could be in a way worse situation, a way worse spot, bro. So be blessed and grateful where you're at right now and turn that, turn it around, bro. And do, do something with it. You know what I'm saying? That's how I be feeling, bro. No cap. Or not just posted up somewhere, like just sitting outside. There's, there's, there's a lot of people the that are in their life just on their phone. The Second Amendment is the American right to bear arms. How do you feel about that? Well, you know, in Missouri, we got it real good and easy. As long as you're over 18, you can have any gun you want. Yeah. That's Wait, why what? Violence going on. Like, that's why, like, not that's why, but because it, it's going to be going on regardless. Any last one of us can go to the gun store. Pull that out like he had his had like another, like, a, like two iPhones. Oh my God. Have a gun. And on top of that, you can have your mama go get you a gun and you can just have a gun at 18, 19. It's good as far as all these niggas on that. So you, everybody can legally have a gun and- So the playing field is equal at least. Yeah, damn right. But a lot they? of guns, <laughs> I used to post up my whole childhood. I'm gonna have to- Block 17, that boy Z really, that, that boy Z really, that boy Z really out there for real, for real. Stop playing with him though. He really out there though. Get this intersection. Right, right, so wait, in this vid, Z, where, where, like, are you, like, this right here, do you know where this is at? How far are you from this right here? Where they at right now? I used to sit on that motherfucker every day. We'll be 20, 40 deep out here. A lot of niggas done died down here. A lot of niggas done trapped down here. 5% of St. Louis has left the city in the last two years. A lot of people fleeing the city, getting out. They say it's too scary, too dangerous Damn to raise right. a kid. What do you think about that? It is. I ain't gonna lie. The only person that could, that could get this city where it's supposed to be is me. I ain't gonna lie, the ops probably didn't roll faster since we've been out here. If they know I'm out here and see the type of shit I'm doing, they'll call it off like it wouldn't be nothing. But... You know, there's helicopters here that chase cars? Yes! Really? Yesterday. Yeah, 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 yeah. You probably gonna see one. Do you guys got any videos of that? This vehicle looks to be cutting through the back alleys right now, going so fast, it, ra it outran the chopper. Yeah, people are really outran a chopper on some real GTA shit! Oh, some out running the choppers is crazy. Yeah. Oh shit, hold on, but that's scary. Hey, hell nah. Hell nah, boy. Hell nah. Did you get hit? Good news, I didn't get hit. Good news. This nigga. Ain't no way he just did that shit for a goddamn. Good news for you. You have a chance to win this autograph. God's be in your face. Back I can't video. believe that. Yes. Hey, stop doing them, was chasing me one time, shooting at me. I seen the police in the midst of getting shot at, arm out the window, flagging them down. Kevin Bush. Police have to ride deep around here, right? There's no way they come here with one car. <laughs> oh my! Oh God! Obama. Obama. That's crazy. Okay, we uh, cause I'm saying it's good. We got, we got. Hey, I'm glad. Hey, uh, if this is on YouTube, I'm glad you're not able to see the chat right now. Cause, oh, Obama, chill, bro. Why y'all keep doing this? It's the young guys that get the wrong attention. How old is the average kid when they get their first trap around here? He said, "Are you in the video? Chill, chill, Obama, chill." 13, 14. Chill, bro. I usually wear my Yeah, definitely stop saying that too, because I'm gonna get uh, y'all tripping, bro. Alright folks, this was an adventure through St. Louis. Heavy G, any words you got for the people to keep motivated, hustling, excited? Man, be yourself, you won't need no help. Stay true to you. Alright folks, we'll see you next week. Peace. Right, hey man, if y'all watch this on YouTube, I need y'all let me know what do you guys think about this. Let's just overall stop the violence. But there's different states, different cities, different rules, different regulations. So look, all I gotta say, if you're in a spot right now where it's not as bad and you can really make it out and make some shit happen, I would advise you to do that. Because then you got places where you have to be forced to live in the jungle. And you have to, you feel me? Fight in the jungle. And now you gotta make your way out the jungle. Let me know what y'all think, man. Okay.